Greetings launch control lovers, I welcome you. Today I want to show you an extension, if you will, to my punch control setup, which I showed you in a recent video. This time we want to implement launch control. But before we get to the actual launch control setup, let me show you what modifications I did to the original punch control setup. With these modifications you can now turn on or off the punch control. So let's go to the model menu. Here in the drive modes we have two drive modes now, DM0, this is the drive mode which is always active if no other drive mode is active, I called normal. And then DM1 I called P control for punch control and this drive mode is active if the logical switch LO1 is active. And what is this logical switch? Let us go to the logical switches real quick. This logic logical switch LO1 is a sticky and it is toggled with the SD button, this is the large button on the on the back of the MT12 and if I push it then it is active, now I push it again it is inactive. Okay, then we have our two curves as you have seen in the punch control video. CV1 is the curve for the positive side and CV2 is the curve for the negative side and these two curves are used here in the inputs for the positive side uh, we have a, uh, we have two logical inputs here for the physical throttle input and for the posi positive side it's, it is called TH and it uses the custom curve pose uh, which means the positive curve if you will and for the negative side the input is called BR for break and this uses of course the throttle input, the hardware input but it uses the negative curve so it only is active for the negative curve for the break side if you will. Again, if you haven't watched the punch control video, please do so. I put the link in the show notes below so you can see the setup I made here. Now in the mixes, we have our throttle mixes, or well, let's say our three channel two mixes here. Two for the throttle part, positive side, and one for the brake side, for the negative side. The first channel two mix is only active if drive mode 0 is active, which is our normal mode. The second th um, line here, the second line for channel 2, this throttle line, is only active if drive mode 1 is active, which means this is our punch control. This has here um, the slow up set. And the third line for channel 2 this is our brake side and well the brake side is always active and we don't want to modify the behavior of the brake side. So what does this um, all do here? Let's check it out here on the monitor. We are now in drive mode normal, drive mode zero. If I pull the trigger, full throttle, brakes, throttle, brakes, well everything just as if we have had nothing unchanged here on the original setup. Now let me toggle to the P control, punch control setup or punch control mode, drive mode one. If I pull the trigger, then you see the throttle value rises with the speed you set in the uh, slow up value in the mixer. And of in the on the brake side, we have full control. Okay, this is our punch control. Now it works as in the as it did in the punch control setup, but now we can toggle the punch control on and off. Okay, now let's add launch control. For this go to the model menu, to the mixes. Here we are. I select the second line, the second line for channel 2. Short press, one down, now we have a copy. Now edit this and set the value to 0. 0. The switch or the mode we set to 0 and 1 and the switch I'm going to use the SC button. This is the small button here on the side of the grip and if SC is pushed then this channel or this mix, sorry not this channel, this mix should be active. So SC down. And the slow up we can remove, it is irrelevant here, we don't need it but it won't, it wouldn't hurt if it is set. So what does this do? This mix is active if SC, if the button SC is pushed and it, well, it does some kind of channel override. It sets the weight to zero, but it, only on the positive side. Okay, now let's go to the other two 
Throttle Mixes hier von Channel 2. Edit and set the switch to SC up, which means this mix is active if the SC button is not pressed. And the same for this line here, the second throttle line for the channel 2. Okay, now we have four mixes in total for channel 2, three throttle mixes and one brake mix. The first throttle mix is only active for drive mode 0, the second throttle mix is only active for drive mode 1, and the third throttle mix is active for both drive modes, but only if the SC button is pushed. And the other two throttle mixes are active if the SC button is not pushed. Okay, now let's see what we have here on the monitor. We are in the normal, I, um, the SC button is not pressed, and I pull the trigger. Now, full, full uh, throttle, full brakes, throttle, brakes, we have full control over the channel 2. Now I push and hold SC, pull the trigger, as you can see no action here on channel 2, and I now release SC, and we have full throttle. But again, if SC is not pressed, we have full control over our channel 2. Now let me go to the punch control mode, drive mode 1. I pull the trigger, as you can see, the channel 2 output value rises with the speed you set in the, the uh, uh, slow up value in the mix. And on the brake side, there is no slow up, we have full control over the brakes. Now I hold, push and hold SC, pull the trigger, no action here on channel 2. Now I release SC, and as you can see, the value for channel 2 rises with the speed you set in the slow up. But again, we have full control over the brake side, and we don't have to wait for a valve or something, some delay or so. Uh, we have full control, and if we go from full, full brake to a throttle, then, well, of course, the slow up um, has to, well, do its thing. But, um, well, this is intended. We are in the punch control mode. And, well, that's it. That's essentially the punch control with the addition of launch control and punch control is now switchable. Okay, well, of course you could uh, modify the setup that, for example, the launch control is only active if you are in punch control or if you are in normal, but, well, my videos should be um, just for you to, to think about what is possible and the fine tuning is up to you because you know um, what you need in your models and, well, you do it the best way for your models. Okay, thanks for watching. If you find this video helpful, please hit the like and the subscribe buttons. And if you want to support the channel, please feel free, feel free to buy me a cup of coffee. Thank you very much. It is highly appreciated. And well, then we see us here soon on this channel. Until then, goodbye. Servus.